In this problem, we have yet another situation in which we want to find uh, the moment on a point due to a force being applied on a structure. In this case, we have a pole and our point of interest is the origin according to our coordinate system. It's always a smart choice to um, locate our coordinate system at a point where it's convenient for us. In this case, um, we, we located our origin at point, Z, uh, point O. So now uh, that we have defined our coordinate system, what we want to do is define our vectors of, that we're going to be using. Our R vector, which is, again, the distance between our point of interest and our force being applied, is going to be equal to uh, minus 30 centimeters, so minus 0 0.3 meters in the I direction then it's going in the positive y direction, so 0.4 meters or 40 centimeters, 0 0.4 meters in the j direction, and lastly, 0 in the kth direction. 0, k. Okay. Now for force, we have uh, nothing in the x direction, so 0, nothing in the y direction, 0j, and finally 60 newtons in the positive z direction, so 60k. Now, in order to find our moment, we want to uh, perform a cross product because we know that our moment is defined as the cross product between our r vector and our force vector. So performing a cross product is going to be um, 0 0.4 times 60 minus 0 times 0, that's going to give us 24 in the i direction. In the j direction, that's going to give us, we're going to slap a negative in front, and that is going to be minus 0 0.3 times 60 minus 0 times 0, that is going to give us negative 18. And for our kth direction, we're going to have minus 0 0.3 times 0 minus 0 0.4 times 0, so 0. So then our vector is going to end up being 24i plus 18j newtons per meter. And that is it. We're going to leave it as a vector, and that's it.